What's up, YouTube? This is Tom with Fresh Vintage. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona for the 2024 Barrett Jackson auction. We're going to show you all the awesome cars. Let's get started right now. So we're here in one tent, this random tent. Let me just swing around and show you. There's Jay. And just in the corner of this one tent, I'm gonna walk through and show some of those cars, but these three are just kind of hanging out here, literally just in the corner. And they are excellent. Very, very well done. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see all three. There we go. Very awesome color. It's a 2015 Porsche Spider, 918 Spider. Just found Sammy Hagar's LaFerrari here. This is going across the block. I'm not sure exactly when. It's weird there's no actual lot number on it, but this is definitely getting sold. We just found Sammy Hagar's LaFerrari. This is definitely going across the auction block. I'm not sure the exact day, but uh, it's weird because there's no lot number sticker on this car. But uh, if you're interested, I'm sure you'll be able to find it on Baron Jackson's site, how much it's sold for. So the only thing better than having one GT350 is having two GT350s, am I right? And we're into even more Mustang power here. There's a GT500. There's a GT500KR convertible right there. Let me just show you this here. And then over here we have a couple more Mustangs. And right across the way we have Mopar Power. Look at this, this is just amazing. This is a 71 Plymouth Cuda convertible. It's just amazing. Let me come down here and show you, just exquisitely well done. We got more Mopar muscle right here. Convertible. These things are all just mint, mint condition. We got some GM power here for you, for all your GM fans out there. And this is just one row of many rows here. I'm going to keep walking around and show you some more highlights right now. Interesting mix of American muscle here literally everything here short of maybe an amc or something <laughs> 69 boss 302 29,000 miles on it and we just outdid that car with the gt350h with 23,000 miles on it wearing the original factory paint folks it's amazing Doing a quick walk by of a bunch of different Corvettes and Camaros. Doing a quick walk by of a bunch of different uh, GM power for you. You've probably already seen pictures or video on this thing, but I just had to show you. And I want to show you what's under the hood, so to speak, although it's technically in the rear of this. This thing is just crazy. Let me show you the power plant for this beast. It's Hemi powered. As that gentleman just said, it's Hemi powered, folks. 
It's just amazing. More GM power here. Let me show you this engine bay. This engine bay is just amazing. Loving the hot rod Lincoln here. This thing is just phenomenal. Check this out. So some uh, exotic car power here for you. There is a little bit of everything in here. There's some GT40s, obviously a Countach right there. Real good mixture of everything. And I'm not even getting to the stuff over on the wall over there. There's a ton of stuff over there too. They're setting up for the gala here on Sunday night, and you probably can't see it that well, but that's a gull wing sitting there. Check out some more of the awesome cars here. Obviously the bullet car here. Forgive me for walking right past that, but I just can't help but check out the 1964 Lincoln Continental. This is lot 1274. Look at that thing, it's amazing. Let me show you the interior. Look at that interior, it's fantastic. Really awesome color. I would call it gold, probably the closest I can get to it. Um, that's gold, so you kind of have silver and gold here, so to speak. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seriously, 1,300 miles on this Shelby Cobra. Incredible.
I mean, of course, I have to show you the Grand National here. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. This is a GNX. Wait a minute. This looks like maybe a Survivor or something. One owner, 87. So I got it wrong. It's a GNX, not a Grand National. Grand National's delivered, been parked in the garage ever since in 1988. 282 miles, folks. This is unbelievable. If I had the money, seriously, if I had the money, Nice convertible, black top convertible. I don't know what this thing is, but we're gonna go check it out. This is, uh, oh, this, of course, this, I would not be surprised at all. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1977 Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300 SE. So I thought this was a Unimog, and uh, I was right. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger himself, his Unimog. Incredible. Some Broncos. Just real quick, doing a quick pan around. It's just one room of many rooms full of the cars that are going to be auctioned off here. Sixty-nine Shelby GT five hundred here. I think this might have been the one they were just running. I missed it running down here. It is as clean as it comes, folks. Let me show you the back here. Look at that. Sending out some Mopar love to all our Mopar fans here. 70 Challenger RT. Got a Hemi in it from the factory. Look at that beast of an engine. Let me show you the interior here. Look at that. Pantera is here. If you have the cash to spend, this can be yours. Let me show you the sticker here. Pantera. Oh, this is a Fast Five movie car. Look at that. There's an awesome Smokey and the Bandit mobile, so to speak. And the crazy thing is, folks, I saw at least two more of these already here at the auction. I'm not kidding. Same thing here, two immaculate Corvettes. Look at the paint job here. Check out the engine bay. It's a 58. Let me show you the sticker here. Beautiful white paint job here. 61 Corvette. And it's got a modern, that's a modern uh, fuel injection power in it here. And the crazy thing is, I've probably seen a dozen of these, maybe two dozen of these so far. I'm not kidding at the auction that I haven't put in the video. It's just, it's amazing. Look, there's two more right here. And there's another one right there. Hang on, let's keep going. Let's see how far we can go seeing just Corvettes.
That's amazing. If you are looking for a Corvette, they're definitely here. Look, here's another one. It's incredible. All right, folks, I hope you can hear me pretty well. Uh, this is one I am super, super excited about, and you have to be an AMC not to really appreciate this, but Lot 848, this is a legit AMC Javelin SST police car. This is no joke, an actual restored police car complete with a 401 in it, I'm not kidding. And uh, the legends and the stories that I heard that this thing would basically catch any car out there short of maybe a Superbird or something. Uh, but this is for sale as it sits and uh, you can check it out on Barrett Jackson's website. Amazing to see this is actually here for sale, very, very rare. I don't know uh, who's gonna be driving this. I think it's probably more of a collector piece, but it's just absolutely awesome to see this in person and actually for sale. If you're looking for a completely blacked out Lamborghini, you can pick up lot 127606 Lamborghini. I'm not even gonna try to say the name because I'll probably screw it up, but we have that right next to a Corvette. Some Bel Air power here for you. Look at this engine bay. As I walk by the multiple Mustangs, if you didn't like that Lamborghini, you just saw the blacked out Lamborghini. You can buy this blacked out Lamborghini. <laughs> it's amazing, lot 844.104, Lamborghini Gallardo, awesome. When Batman's car's in the shop, this is what he drives to fight crime, folks. Lot 1552 here, 07, Aston Martin. I just thought it was funny. It kind of made me chuckle that this thing is sitting here and it's this dirty. I can rest assure you it will be spotless when it goes across the auction block, but it's just kind of funny to see it actually dirty like this. This is pretty cool to see, lot 527. This is a 79 Firebird Trans Am. I don't know if I've ever seen the actual Screaming Eagle, so to speak, on a uh, gold color here. I thought it was actually kind of reserved for the uh, the usual suspect here, the Smokey and the Bandit, so to speak. Uh, this is lot 526.2. But uh, looking at these, man, this is interesting to see that Screaming Eagle on the actual gold paint job. Really, really neat. Got a 1954 Kaiser Darren Roadster here. I don't know if I've ever actually seen one of these before, but really cool to see. Let me show you the interior here. Little two-door convertible. Kind of cozy inside here, but looks like it'd be pretty fun to drive. Let me show you the back. And if that's not your style, I'll go right into this guy here and this. I don't know, tell me in the comments, which one would you like? Do you like the blacked out one or this? I'm really digging this paint job. Let me actually find the year on this guy. This is lot 1079. This is a 1968 Charger Custom Coupe. Looking really cool. Nicknamed the Dumbo. Nicknamed the Dumbo. I was wondering why it had that logo on there. Okay. And then this is lot 1451 68 Chevelle Custom. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of liking how blacked out this Chevelle is, but uh, I'm a Mopar guy, so I'm gonna go with the uh, the Charger. Folks, you have to choose. You can only choose one SS. So is it that one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? Pick your poison. I think I'll take the red one. Honestly, I like uh, I like the red color. Lot 1066.1, this is 77 Sierra 3500. It's called a camper special. Two bench seats in the back, man. You just take everybody to the movies in this thing, into the drive-in theater. This is fantastic. One of the dualies that we've seen here is very few that we've actually seen. Let me just sweep around and I'll show you the, uh, the engine bay here. Really nice paint job too. 
the camper special. Look at that. Get the interior. And yeah, I, I would assume it had a 454 on it, but yeah, it has a 454 on it. What a beast. Real quick, lot 1035.1, 1965 Buick Riviera Grand Sport. This interior is just awesome. I love that center console. Look at that thing. And I'll pull back. I'll show you the uh, the engine here. 425 cubic inch Super Wildcat V8. Look at that. Amazing. Folks, they have this chained off, but uh, it's not fully chained off. I just ended up walking through about half of it. And then I realized I couldn't get out, so I guess the lesson here is uh, don't walk into the chained area because you won't be able to get out without jumping the jumping the actual chain. Lot 1276.1, 03 Acura NSXT. How much do you think this one's going to go for, folks? I can't even imagine the price tag on this thing, especially with 10,000 miles. This is one of 171 USA cars. This is probably going to fetch some serious cash. Check out Barrett Jackson's website to see how much this thing sold for. This is lot 479. A lot of people would say, why did you put this in the video? But this thing is a 79 Lincoln MKV, and it says it has 50 original miles. So imagine how long this car has just sat and not moved. It's probably barely ran in the last 30 or 40 years too to make sure it only has 50 miles on it. That's incredible. I'm just gonna do a quick walk by here, a flyby and show you a 34 Ford Roadster, 1934 Pontiac Sport Coupe, a 1950 Dodge B2B, that's incredible including a 218 cubic inch inline slant six. Look at that. Awesome. There is pretty much everything you can dream up here. It's amazing. Lot 1331.1, 1970 Plymouth Hemi Superbird. Kind of like the white paint here. This is an automatic. The rare ones are uh, manual. I believe they're the pistol grip, if, if memory serves correct. But uh, we've seen a few of those here too. And then turning around, there's not one but two GTO judges sitting right here. It's incredible. Let me get the lot number 1016.2 and 1031. Really like this paint job. I'm curious. I'm gonna see. Let me look and see what this paint job color is. Mint turquoise. Very, very well done. So we're outside now, and uh, forgive the noise, there's a lot of people around, but those are the actual staging lanes. Let me uh, zoom in here. So lane one, two, and three, and the uh, cars are going to start staging. In fact, they've actually already started staging behind us and in the blueprint engines pre-staging area here let me zoom out this is the pre-staging area and the cars are already started lining up including the hot and fresh i love hot dogs mobile here i'm pretty sure it has like a 440 magnum or a 454 four barrel or something in it but uh, all joking aside the uh, cadillac alantes out here are on points there's a bunch of them here uh, there's a mercedes right here Land Rover, and then this guy here. This is an 80. Sir, forgive me. What year is this thing? 80. Uh, 1990 Oldsmobile. Only 16,000 miles. So that's going across the auction block here soon. And we have a Land Rover right here. John Deere tractor. Look at the Camaro over here. Let me just walk through and I'll show you the Camaro. This is an 88 Camaro IROC. This is going to be going across the auction block here soon. Let me show you the back. And don't get me wrong, these are awesome, awesome, fantastic cars, but these are the day one cars. And kind of honestly, these are the cars you expect to see on day one. 
because day five are the ones that are going for three, four hundred thousand dollars. But uh, I just wanted to walk through here real quick for another 20, 30 seconds and show you some of the vehicles that are going through on Monday. There's another Cadillac Alante. Look at this big beast. Let me stop and I'm going to go over here. I want to see what this is. Caprice Station Wagon. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Lot 17.1. Maserati here. Some more Oldsmobile power for you. Really good uh, selection of uh, cars here. Good. Call them day one cars, so to speak. They're in there actually auctioning off the uh, like the pumps and the signage and whatnot. So really cool selection of cars here on day one. And you know it only goes up from here. You get the extremely crazy rare exotic stuff. We are here in the Blueprint Engines booth, and we have our good friend Kel here. Thanks so much for being here, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. 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 We wanted to talk about some, uh, like if you're looking to build an engine and uh, build a project, yeah. and maybe, but you're on a budget, you're trying to pinch those pennies, thinking something like a Ford or Chevy, what uh, what uh, couple options you might have for someone? Perfect. So we have several options. Uh, we're standing right in front of the first one. This is going to be our small block 302 long block. So it's going to give you our brand new blueprint engine block, four bolt mains. Everything we do now is new. So new block, new aluminum heads, roller cam, rated at 361 horsepower. And the thing that separates us from everyone else is we do run and test every single engine on the dyno and you're going to get the dyno results for your exact engine. So even this long block, I'm going to put an intake carburetor distributor on it, run mm -hmm. and test it and make sure it's 100%. Excellent. Okay. So let's uh, let's go ahead. The Chevys are we're gonna yeah, cut. Yeah. We'll be so right over for, there. Like you said, this is for Ford, and then we also have our tried and true small block GM. In our cruiser line, we do have the 350. Also, new block, new heads, roller cam. This we can do in a long block. Also here displayed, you see it as a dressed long block, so it's going to have the intake carburetor distributor. We offer several different levels of horsepower and then several different levels of dress. So this is a good example of if you're wanting to reuse your front pulleys, if you're wanting to reuse your water pump, it's going to bolt to your transmission. You take out your tired 305 or 350, drop in some brand new engine that's going to give you that roller cam performance and aluminum heads. Uh, if someone has a little bit more cash to spend, yeah. uh, thinking of the Chevy department, I should say, yeah. what, what would you possibly have for them there? So 383. Okay, very it's nice. It's going to be based on that same small block 350. So okay. it's going to bolt in, fit the same, but it's going to give you that additional bore and stroke to give you that 383 cubic inches, 436 horsepower. And then here's, a, here's an excellent example of how complete we can do. This is actually a multi-port fuel injection system. Okay. So we're gonna also include the wiring harness. This comes with a single belt serpentine, power steering, alternator, AC. Once again, everything brand new. Wow, that's impressive. And all of it is ran and tested on the dyno and has that industry leading 30 month, 50,000 mile warranty. Excellent mm -hmm. warranty too, so. Definitely give Kel a call here, Blueprint Engines. Thanks so much, man, really Absolutely. appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Yep. And folks, if you've never been to Barrett-Jackson, um, you might be asking, why is there a boat here? But you kind of have to think about the folks that are burning cash on, say, a $100,000 Corvette. And then you turn around and, you know, this isn't parked in here for storage. They're actually showing clients and selling customers Bell helicopters. Look at these benches, man. Look, look at how solid this thing is. I mean, this has got to be half inch. Dude is over here standing in, look at that. You're gonna break that thing, man. I don't think so. <laughs> wow, can you tell me uh, what, like, what's going on? Like, what is, how is that hinge? How does that work? It's a one inch cold rolled steel shaft. Okay. DM, DOM bushing stock. Okay. Re-spinning on every drawer. This will never wear out. It'll actually come over on top of you before the drawer fails. So anything you can fit in there, it'll hold. And this is badass workbench I see here. Okay, cool. So badass uh, workbench. Or how, what's the website? Badass-workbench.com. 
Awesome, folks. Thank you very much. You're Cody. Thank you, Cody, man. Yeah, if you guys need some serious, like, legit, like, look at how thick this material is. And they even have welding benches, and they, I mean, they have built to order, it looks like. So definitely check out their website. Really, really cool. So if you've never been to Barrett Jackson, we are kind of in the home and garden section, and I'm only gonna spend about 20 seconds here, but this moose is pretty much life size. So there's his nose, there's my hand. So imagine the size of these things. And then uh, if we go over here, there's Jay. Yeah, there's Jay for reference. <laughs> and then if we go over here, look at that eagle. So there's just amazing the uh the statues and the amount of stuff that's here and so this thing is massive and uh forgive me what was your name i'm emily hi emily thank you for for taking the time to chat nice to meet you so you said this was how much it's a hundred and twenty five thousand okay retail but the show price is seventy five thousand so seventy five thousand and uh folks if that thing looks huge it's probably almost six feet tall looking at the wingspan but yeah thank you very very much emily really appreciate it of course Wait a minute, this is a car channel. We're not here for boats. Ah, uh, okay, here we go, much better. Checking out this Foos Pantera. Look at this thing. The color is amazing. Everything is amazing on it. Let me show you the back here. Oh, the window's open. Excellent. Yep. I do like these taillights. The paint on this thing is amazing on the camera here, but to see it in person, it's just it's just undescribable. It's actually a little bit, tiny bit more cream than what you're seeing on camera here. It's just, it's like a pearl essence, it's, am it's amazing. Found ourselves a nice Porsche, 55, 356 Speedster, right next to three Cobras. I thought Cobras were uh, fairly rare, but uh, I've seen so many of them here. <laughs> I guess they're all at the Barrett Jackson auction, to be honest. Hey, let me line this shot up. Let me show you here. Look at that. So we're walking around, and this is a uh, original 2021 Shelby truck. This is a factory-built truck. Let me show you the sticker here. It's amazing what you're going to find at the auction. 70 Buick GS with a 455 in it, convertible. I've probably walked by some Buicks and I just didn't notice them before, but awesome to see that here. Right next to a Jag and a really nice Mercedes. There's so many cars here, you could spend a day and a half, two days just walking through, looking at the cars, it's amazing. This is the first Lotus we've seen. And the crazy thing is, is there's so many cars here. If you're looking to buy a Corvette or a Viper or a Camaro, and I'm not just randomly calling out the cars I'm seeing, these, there's so many here. Like even the Ford GT40s, there's a multitude of them here. So if you miss one, if you don't get the bid on one, you have potentially a chance at a second one. So this is definitely one of the rarest cars we've seen so far. It's a 69 AMX 400. This was actually done for the TV series Banasek. Let me just start Banakek. Let me just pan down this so if you want to read about it. But this is the car. This is a one of one. I would call it a gigantic Hot Wheels car. Look at the side pipes. Look at the interior straight out of the 70s. I, I just love this thing so much. Look at the front end. It's like, this is like instant totaling the car if you, uh, if you wreck this thing. Cause that front end is so custom, it's just unbelievable. 
Let me uh, let me get a shot of the uh, the driver's side here. Look at that. Awesome. Really cool to see this. When you want the Lincoln completely blacked out, like totally murdered out with all of the black you can imagine, short of maybe, you know, powder chroming the alternator or something. Look at this. And the interior is a very, very dark brown. It's not black, but it goes really well with the rest of the car. This is such an amazing, amazing example of Lincoln vintage awesomeness. I think this uh, Jaguar is getting a little nervous in between all this Mopar muscle here. What do you guys think? We're here in the South Showcase, found this awesome power wagon. I'll show this on the screen real quick. This thing is amazingly, just perfectly finished. And forgive the noise, they are actively bidding in the background. Let me show you the uh, interior here. Really awesome to see how clean and just pretty much brand new this thing is. Lot 1105.1 if you want to check it out and see how much it's sold for. Something kind of different here. Tell me what you think in the comments when you see this thing. These are custom one-offs, obviously. This is a 23 Colorado 955-1. But these guys do a custom conversion and basically build these to what you see. This one's 955. Let us know in the comments if you would buy one of these. What do you think? Jay just brought up a really good point. Like, if you're if you're thinking about buying a truck, you know, in this case a Chevy truck, and you're okay with maybe having not the exact right color, there are so many opportunities to buy a uh, specific truck. In this case, it's a four-wheel drive Cheyenne, or if you want a you know 70 C10 here, and you have the cash to spend. You know, if you have a little bit of flexibility with your colors or your options, you can get, you know, good chance you can actually win one of these in the auctions. And as I say that, I literally turn to my right, and there's another Cheyenne here. This is lot 996-71C10 Custom. Check out under the hood here. If I had to cash the burn, this would be the one I would buy, simply because the... Uh, the black and the lowered stance just looks amazing. Okay, hold the phone. I literally just got done saying, oh, I found the C10 I would buy, but uh, I found this with 2,100 miles on it. This is lot 990. I'd probably buy this one instead. <laughs> so many Broncos here. And the Broncos are getting crazy expensive and actually harder and harder to find, but you'll find tons of them. This one actually has a five liter in it. All mostly tricked out. There's a few completely original ones, but if you're willing to you know, take one that is not exactly the color or maybe the exact engine and drivetrain, you can get a really awesome machine here at the auction. Oh man, inflation is getting rough out there, folks. They're not even giving the engines in these caddies at the auction anymore. Really clean, awesome, just immaculately done. And forgive my silly joke a second ago, but this was actually a conversion. This is lot 10361 Coupe de Ville Custom. If you're looking for that classic ride EV look and feel, look no further. 
So earlier I said, oh, look, there's a DeLorean. And then I realized upon getting this close to it, this is one of the replica cars from the movie. I can't even imagine how much this is going to sell for. And thinking about Back to the Future, be hard pressed to find an error in here. Although I'm going to check the speedometer. I'm wondering if the speedometer is correct. In the movie, the car had a 95 mile an hour speedometer, and these actually did not come from the factory. And the real replicas, the ones that do it 100% perfect, they actually break the speedometer down. Yeah, see, this one doesn't have, it says 160. Interesting. Almost bumped my head. Really, really cool to see, to know. If you've ever heard the story about how they actually built these, some of these parts are almost impossible to find. So the fact that they, these guys actually attempt to do these rebuilds, bravo to them. Really cool to see. I'm right next to it, lot 1116. It's a Radical RXC600R. Let me go a little closer so you can see it. Title, branded, exceeds mechanical limits. I'm not sure what that means, but you're effectively buying a race car here, folks. So don't expect to take this out daily driving it to get groceries anytime soon. Lot 961, literally two or three cars down from the time machine. So we have, I don't know if I want to call this a plain Jane, but this is your basic it has a wing on it i think that might be like a a factory like an aftermarket accessory i don't know if there's a factory option but this thing is pretty much stock from what i can tell unless they dropped an engine in it or something let me uh, poke into here we go pretty neat to see those two so close to each other i can't even imagine what that time machine is going to go for Two Cougars here, including an Eliminator. Let me show you the red one here. This is an XR7. Four twenty-seven. Wow, look at that! Fantastic. Look at this one here. Yeah, that's this is an XR. So forgive me for saying this. Only one more time, lot 11071. This is a 69 Firebird Trans Am Coupe. And the color scheme is not as common, but I'll show you. Let me pause here, and I'll be right back with the other one. So here's the other one, lot 9751, 69 Trans Am, custom convertible, pretty much the same car. I'm not 100% sure on the engine and transmission, but if you're out here shopping for cars, you may find the exact one you're looking for, or you may get one with a convertible or a coupe. So it's awesome to see so many cars here. You can almost do car shopping at this level. Just gonna stand in a circle here and show you some of the stuff that you can see and this is just a small sample of everything just in this room just in the south showcase i'm loving the red white and blue action we have here choose your mustang choose your color very well done I don't know how well you can hear me, but they are actively buffing the car out here. So I thought I'd get a quick video of this on the Aston Martin. I don't know how well you can hear me, but they're actively buffing out on the hood of the Aston Martin. So I thought I'd get a quick video of this.
lot 10201, John D'Agostino's 67 Auburn Boat Tail. First one I've seen here, I may have walked by an Auburn and not noticed it before, but really awesome to see in person. The green is uh, almost like a carnival ride green with the speckle in it and the flake. Very, very pretty color. Awesome to see the exhaust coming right out the side here. Let me show you the interior here. And this is a boat tail, if I read that correctly. Let me show you the back. Really awesome to see. Just some of the stuff you'll see at Bear Jackson. And obviously this stuff's all been meticulously restored, but if you have the cash to burn, this is your place to be. Everything from old school gas pumps to jukeboxes. A little bit more modern, although still definitely vintage gas pumps. And just a ton of stuff here. I mean, let me show you everything. We're obviously here for the auction, but just wanted to show Chevy like owns this part of the tent. I mean, they have wall to wall right here. Huge booth. <laughs> Wrapping up the video here, we're standing in the staging lanes on day two. They're going to roll these guys in and run them right through the auction block right there. Big shout out to everybody here for putting this together. This is a circus, but this is amazing. Mark your calendar for 2025 Barrett Jackson auction. You need to be here to see all of this going on. It is insanely awesome. With that, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.